Hey, so we are checking out this uh, the latest update for the Analog Rhythm MK2, and that's uh, 1.45. That was released on July 6, 2018. And the big thing about this is that what they're doing, at least in my estimation, is uh, my guess is that they're preparing the uh, Analog Rhythm MK2 for uh, Overbridge 2.0 support. There's been a lot of talk about the Overbridge 2.0 and you know whether or not uh, Digitone, Digitac, and all of those, or Digitac can can be able to use uh, Overbridge. And so my guess there is that that's going to be available with Overbridge 2.0. In releasing this uh, OS 1.5 for the Analog Rhythm MK2, the big deal for me, yeah, I, I want to use Overbridge at some point, but the big deal for me is the fact that there's a new uh, dual VCL, uh, sort of like an analog, there's a new analog synth, mono synth, it's called dual VCL machine. So it can be enabled on any of the pads, or actually, let me not say that, because what you end up doing, so if you go to track there, you can hit source, I'm on uh, the bass drum track, you can hit source twice, and you'll see in there, dual VCL is available to uh, enable on that track and let's go to, to snare drum pad 2 see what machines are available there dual VCO is available there dual VCO is available on pad 3 uh, dual VCO is available on pad 4 dual VCO is not available on the other tracks all right, so um, well, I'll probably use it is on uh, the rim shot or pad three. Uh, so when you go through, you can see it's not available on any of those. Only ones that are available there is the XT Classic, Noise Generator, Impulse, and Disable. Same here. Same there. Uh, huh? Let's let's see. I don't think it's available here either. No, so it'll be the same on the top row. Those are not available, or the dual VCO is not available there. All right. Okay, so um, first things first, you can only enable the dual VCO machine on pads one, two, three, and four. The other pads cannot um, have the dual VCO. All right, so I'm gonna go to track uh, three because that's where I have it loaded. Sounds pretty good. All right. So there's a dual VCO. Uh, that's what it sounds like initially. <clears throat> and so let's go through uh, these things. So you have uh, knob one or knob A. You have knob A uh, that's tuned for the oscillator one. Like so. Then you have uh, knob B that's oscillator two detuned. this in chromatic mode all right so then we have a uh, knob C which is uh, oscillator one uh, decay which is oscillator 2 decay and then when you move over to knob uh, E here you have uh, the oscillator configuration so 
what this is is it selects the waveform and interaction of two oscillators right so the two oscillators this is how you kind of configure the two oscillators so uh there are two different waveforms for oscillator one which is sine and sine saw and uh, there are five different waveforms for oscillator two that's sine skewed uh sine uh i'm sorry sine skewed sine triangle sine saw and saw all right so then you'll get into this you can change the This, this little icon sort of changes a little bit. Not sure if you can see that very well, but uh, I'll go back and put it in. So, uh, the icon changes a bit. There is uh, on the left side, you'll see um, oscillator one's waveform, and on the right side, you'll see oscillator two's waveform. As you change this knob, those change as well. Like right now, I have it on saw on the oscillator two. In the middle, you'll see a couple of different things. So the middle icon right now is a plus. That mixes the oscillators. When it's a capital R, it's ring modulation. Um, uh, it says it does not pitch track 100% correct. And then when it's a, a F, it does frequency modulation with oscillator 1 as a carrier. And when it's a negative sign, or I think that's an underscore, it resets the oscillators on trig. So as I turn this knob, you have many different configurations. This is zero, and I think you go all the way up to 79. So you have 79 different configurations that you can do. go through okay so then you have a uh, bend all right so it sets depth uh sets the depth of the fixed time pitch envelope um that's on knob f knob g you have uh balance controls the level of the two oscillators at, at a value of zero both are at max negative values uh, attenuate oscillator two positive values attenuate oscillator one all right so So when you go to the left side, you're attenuating oscillator one. When you go to the right side, you're attenuating oscillator two. And then you have level, right? And obviously, um, and obviously, <clears throat> what's dope about this is that you have, um, I don't know, it's kind of like the ultimate drum machine right here. You can sample into it using the exact same um, uh, sample engine that's in the Digitech. You have a uh, analog drum machine all over with these different voices and stuff, different machines that you can select to create almost any sound that your heart desires. Then you have uh, now the dual VCO, which is a, literally an a analog mono synth. And just like with anything else in the analog rhythm in K2, you obviously can deal with the filter. You have your filter. And you have filter types. All the same filter types. So let's see. Low pass one and two. Band pass. Uh, high pass. Low pass one. High pass two. Attack, decay, sustain, release. Get envelope of L, envelope of 
them. You also have your amp, just like anything else, right? So, you have your attack, hold, decay. You have your overdrive. And, obviously, you have your reverb and delay. Let's go up to a higher note so you can hit a delay. So, um, <clears throat> I just want to kind of overview, just uh, this is my kind of first look at this thing, and I'm going to dig in, because uh, everybody knows I love a good analog mono synth, and so I'm going to dig in on this joint, make a few, uh, few tracks, then I'm going to come back and just kind of talk about what I really like about it. I know I'm going to love it. This is a really dope addition to this machine. So, I mean, this is the idea where you can have... Kick, snare, mono synth, sample. Uh, that's a sampled bass. You are now right. You are now right. Another sample. Another sample. Hi hat. Open hat. Symbol. Another sample. So you literally have everything you need on this to make an ill. Beat. like you can't do pads on it and stuff but you can sample pads into it <laughs> so you could take this and it's kind of like the ultimate machine on the compact level sort of deal so uh the addition of a dual vco this is not a um a digital synth that's emulating analog this is a analog mono synth added into your analog drum machine that samples let's go all right we'll check this out again later
So another dope thing about this, uh, while I'm getting into this, and it's been a while, <clears throat> but one dope thing about this is that you can take the LFO and modulate almost anything. I don't know how many destinations it has, but <clears throat> you can modulate anything from um, meta to dual level, uh, oscillator one, tune, decay, detune, decay. For oscillator two, oscillator one and two, you can uh, modulate the, the the balance, the bend, uh, oscillator configuration. So you know how you can take the configuration and you can say I want a, a sine wave on oscillator one, and I want uh, you know whatever saw on oscillator two, and then you can have it ring modulating with the R in the middle of that icon. You can actually take this now to the LFO and go and and modulate the oscillator configuration. So, you turn that up. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oscillating the, uh, I'm, I'm modulating the oscillator configuration. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna dig in, and then I'll come back and uh, kind of really show and dig in. I know I'm gonna be making some bangers with this, with this uh, dual VCO uh, analog mono synthesis in this joint now. So, all right, I'll talk to y'all soon.